And, and you know, I, I'm absolutely disgusted uh, at DirecTV, who is owned by AT&T, uh, and, and what they've done to join the woke mob and censor conservative speech. But I do hope that, uh, you know, the companies that do back conservatives and are there for them, like, say, Patriot Mobile, are benefiting from this. Um, because there is going to be a mass exit from AT&T. That was Lauren Boebert spinning falsehoods and fallacies over Republican censorship. This was after DirecTV dropped Newsmax, a far-right political news program, after it demanded to raise customers' fees, with a DirecTV spokesperson saying the following, We wanted to continue to offer the network. But Newsmax demands for carriage fees increases would have led to, quote, significantly higher costs that we would have to pass on to our broad customer base. But this did not stop extremist clown Lauren Boebert, who even urged congressional action against the company. Watch this. Um, but we absolutely have to put pressure on this. I think that this is something that is ripe for the Oversight Committee to look into. Um, certainly when you have um, these um, uh, publicly traded companies. Um, so there, there needs to be some involvement here and, and some pressure put on these companies because uh, this, is, this is freedom of speech on attack right now. Um, if you have to censor your, uh, uh, your opponent's views, well, then maybe you don't have the best views to argue them. Firstly, I think the House Oversight Committee might be a little busy. Yeah, they might be auditing all of your conservative friends, but uh, maybe we can ask. Secondly, I love how Republicans constantly overestimate the power of collective conservative action. Every other week there is a call to ban Pepsi or boycott Ben and Jerry's, ultimately to no consequence. Talking about this right now makes me crave fish food. But the fact is, is that when Republicans claim censorship or any sort of specific targeted discriminations towards Republicans, it's almost always a red herring used to distract from the situation. Or, more often than not, it's something I like to call the consequences of your actions. <laughs> In this specific situation, Newsmax, which is, by the way, a far-right think tank that had to retract its support of election conspiracy fraud, was not censored or taken off the air. DirecTV is still offering their program through other streaming services and applications. They were simply a casualty to what amounts to a business decision. The company didn't think it a financially sound decision to keep the program alive, either for viewership problems or maybe a slew of other more egregious offenses. This was a consequence of what we call the free market. And isn't that what Republicans love? The free market? This example proves what we have seen time and time again from Republicans. They will pivot to frame themselves as victims of a political framework that they champion themselves, even when it isn't applicable when it makes no sense. And in that way, we see Republicans what they do best, lie, cheat, deceive, and play victim. And continue this deceptively arbitrary myth of conservative persecution. Now, I'm not one to defend DirecTV or any corporate big media conglomerate, but um, let's just say I'll stick to reading books this week. I got plenty up there. <laughs> this is Adrian Costa, The Breakdown. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and check back for more videos. See you guys soon.